going on, everybody? Welcome, welcome. It is so good to have you here. Let's talk about what we're putting inside of the build today. So what we're gonna be building is in the brand new Antec. This is their Performance 1FT. So it's got a Ryzen 9 7900X 3D. We got an MSI MAG B650 Tomahawk motherboard, the XFX Speedster Merc 310 Black Edition Radeon 7900 XDX. We got a two terabyte Kingston uh, Fury NVMe SSD. Uh, G-Skill Triton Z, 32 gigs at DDR5 at 6,000 mega transfer. The Antec Performance 1FT case, uh, the Deepcool LT720, 360 millimeter AIO, and then an 850 watt P5 Platinum EVGA. So let's get started on putting CPU and GPU together. And here's the MSI board. We're gonna grab our GPU, our storage, our memory, and all that fun stuff. Here is our build. Oh wow, that actually ended up doing pretty good. That was a good pop. All right, so there we go, CPU is in. Let's do RAM clicks, let's say 96. It, it is Kingston Fury, so maybe 96 makes the most sense. Put that right there. Okay, here we go, first one, 96. 100, whoa! That went to 100.7. That was like very clearly. <laughs> that didn't even sound like 100, but it doesn't lie. Here we go, one more. Yeah, that one. Not mushy, but like it just hit the sound, just piercing. So there we go, 100. All right, here we go. This is their new high-end performance case. So it's called the Performance 1FT. It actually has a digital display on it. It's at the top. So right here at the top here, there's actually a digital display here that shows things like your performance, heat cool, all that sort of stuff, which is actually pretty neat. It will also display the same information on your desktop, etc. So we'll show that. We have tempered glass in the front. We also have tempered glass on the back. So it does actually come with all of the fans installed. It's got three 140 in the front and a 120 in the back, and they're all high performance fans. Let's go ahead and start stripping it down and take a look on the inside. Single screw in the back. Man, that pop off was actually really nice. Nice screw, captive. Look at that, this is just a nice feeling. Pops off, and then ooh, very fantexy of them. The numbering stuff is actually pretty cool. So it's numbered one and two. And then now you can see all of your cable management room. There we go, front pulls off. Overall construction and just like quality feeling, it's a very quality feeling uh, PC case. Let's start getting parts inside of it. Let's go and pop our motherboard in. This is gonna look really clean in here. Here we go. I actually really am excited to see how this build turns out because the lack of RGB and there's a lot of black and silver, this is gonna look very performancey. you know what I mean? Let's go and hook up our front panel connectors and get all that stuff taken care of. So we got a USB 2, USB-C, USB 3, HD audio, and then look at this, guys. We got a full normal front panel connector, so uh, thank you for that, Antec. We got our three fan cables. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take our fan stuff and just plug it in and then only have to worry about one cable here, which is good. I only want to deal with one cable. I just want to have one cable for all of my fans. You know what I'm saying? You are my fans. So let's start running our cables. Let's figure out where these should go. Okay, so there's all of our connections run through. Okay, there we go. There's our first connection. Ooh, that looks so clean. Okay, next up we got front panel connections. Those are gonna go right here, front panel, USB. Fans, that's gonna go right here. HD audio. All right, so we're gonna try to be light with the zip ties. We're gonna hide them as best we can. Okay, so this is just to get it started. We're, we're definitely gonna to have to put more zip ties. This is how it looks so far. Clean looking, a nice, clean, simple back. So you really only have cables in this section. And remember, you have cable covers, so you should see very little of all of this when it's all said and done. It's time, guys, for the AIO. So there is a little RGB on this, but not a whole lot. There we are, there we are, and there we are. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get our case ready. So we can put this. There we go, perfect. Okay, so we got that in now. Okay, you know what we forgot, guys? We didn't put thermal paste on, so we're gonna have to put some thermal paste on. That would not be useful. There we go, good amount of thermal paste. Nice solid covering. Now let's just flip it over just to run. We gotta run an RGB cable through and then we're basically in good shape for this. So now the AIO is completely self-contained. See, what I did is I essentially have no cables 
at all for the I.O. There's nothing, you can't see any cables for the I.O. So all we have now is this. Okay, now let's get our XFX installed because it's, it's a little bit of a special GPU. There it is, very nice looking card. There we go. What this does is this has a really neat support bracket. There we go, it goes like that. So GPU's in, we're gonna work on our cable extensions, get everything run, and then this build is essentially pretty much done. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, there's our GPU all hooked up. Next up for us to do the PSU. Our platinum PSU, which is a very nice looking PSU, might I add. Okay, let's put this, connect this up. CPU, GPU, and the motherboard. Let's run our cables through. PSU is now in. There we go. Okay, everything is in and clean. So there is our cable management. The only cable you see is just this. That looks pretty dang good, guys. We can start putting it back together. There's the build, completed. It's got all like silver and black. Looks nice and clean. Honestly, this build came out stunning. It's a great looking PC. Here we go, power. Ooh, I hear it. And there it goes. build is now officially complete. Uh, have a great night. Have a great night. And we'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, guys.